and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to do a fun soap inspired by Irish things which made me think of the color green and Irish and it made me think of four leaf clovers and I got this cute little clover stamp that I'm going to dip in mica and pop on my soap for a cute little accent too. This is going to be a two-step process. So what I have in my mind is I'm going to, day one, I'm going to pour a green and white layers in one soap mold or two soap molds uh, and I'm going to use this jade green from Nurture Soap and white. So we'll have layers. Day two, I'm going to cut it on an angle, put it in my molds and do a green and white swirl. And so it's gonna be kind of, you know, Irishy and green. I don't know why, I'm just into the Irish. Well, actually I do know why. My kids bought me one of those uh, DNA test things and I found out I had a lot more Irish in me than I realized. So um, the soap is inspired by that. For my scent, I'm gonna use Crisp Morning Air. And this just smells great to me. It smells like an Irish mountainside. <laughs> so that's kind of the theme I'm going for. Um, so I'm gonna do my angle side day one. We'll cut it, put it in, do a swirl on the top. It's a two day process. We'll come along and we will make some Irish inspired soap. Also, if you enjoy watching my videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe and the bell for notifications. And I'm on Instagram and Facebook too. And I'm back and I'm ready to pour my first layers of my little uh, happy clover soap. So let me show you what I've got going on. I made my um, oil portion and my lye portion and I've split it into four separate equally measured containers of my oils and lyes here so that I can mix each layer one at a time and that um, that way I don't have to worry about it getting too thick because I want really nice crisp lines. So. Um, it was just easier for me to do it this way. This is how I roll. So what I've got going on in the oils is I have my organic colloidal oats, my kale and clay, and the fragrance is already in here. That uh, crisp morning air and it smells great. And then in my lye solution, I have tuss of silk fibers, um, some sodium lactate, and a little bit of powdered sugar because uh, that amps up the bubbles. And I've been putting that in and enjoying how it comes out, so I'm still doing that. So. All that being said, we're going to go ahead and take our first little portion here. Uh, oh yeah, let me show you. I've got my jade green here. I'm going to add a little color to the layers and I have some titanium dioxide. This is water soluble, dispersed in water. Um, so for the white layers, we'll do white, green, white, green. All right, in my first layer, I'm going to do white. So I'm just going to add a little dollop of this into my oils and then we'll add our little lye mixture. Oh, and also, um, the lye mixture is aloe vera juice is in there. I did a 50-50 of distilled water and aloe vera juice for um, that. Because I thought, you know, aloe, green, all the, I don't know, thought it went with it. So let me just get the titanium dioxide blended. There we go. And now we'll add our little lye solution and we'll get a nice medium trace but fluid enough where I can have it pour very smoothly got a nice sort of medium light trace on this and go ahead and get this poured in and get it nice and smoothed out. So, layer number one in the mold.
And I'm back the next day with our layered soap here. So let's get it out of the mold. And these are molds from Essential Depot and they are fantastic, very, very sturdy. And they make a wonderful standard size bar. Normally I do a tall skinny. These are wonderful for just standard size. Let me just break the seal on the bottom and we'll get it out. Wow, that green came out really different than I thought, but it's perfect for this soap. And the lines look pretty crisp, so I'm really happy. So now comes the fun part where, uh, back here, this handy dandy little tool is a cake leveler. Um, so anyway, it's a cake leveler, but it works wonderful for this. And what I'm gonna be doing now is going on the points and I'm gonna go really slowly all the way down to split this into our halves that we'll put in our molds. Now the next step is I'm going to dampen some paper towels and lay them over the top of these to keep them nice and moist while I get the next layer poured because I want it to adhere really well so I want to keep the moisture in here. And I wring them out. They're not soaking wet but they're just nice and damp. I'm ready to mix up my next layer so I've got my aloe vera lye got my oils, all the additives, the fragrance, it's already in here. And I have my green, that we're gonna do a green swirl, uh, my titanium dioxide dispersed in water. And for the top, I'm going to do a little bit of sprinkle with this Maya Gold from Nurture Soap. Um, and the reason why is because after these are all cut, I'm going to, that's, I'm gonna dip my little clover in the gold. So I wanted to tie that in with the top and my little stamp. So that will be going on the top whenever we get to that. So let's go ahead and get the lye mixed in here. And I'm gonna hand stir for emulsion and stick blend as needed.
All right, I wanted to point out what, <laughs> this was a mistake on my part, but I think it's still really cool. Um, I had intended for all of the stripes to go this way when I set the um, wedges in my first pour, but I didn't put it in the right direction. I still think that's pretty cool looking, so I'm okay with it. But anyway, so I have two different stripes going on, but I'm gonna show you how I do my little stamp. So I've just simply poured some dry mica in here and I didn't put anything on here, it's just a dry stamp. And I stamp it around, tap off the excess, and just press, you know, relatively gently. And there it is. And of course, the first time you use this, that's gonna come off. But I'm gonna do one on each side. So, there we go. And then I'll flip it over and do one over here, just for good measure. I think those are cute. So these are my little Happy Clover Irish-inspired bars. <laughs>